everyone, it's Aquamis here. So this video is going to be a new artwork time lapse. And so if you didn't know, basically um, for the entire month of May there was a tag going on like in the artist community. It's the hashtag mermaid. And so that was the month of mermaids. I don't know if it's like an artist thing, but I just saw this on, on YouTube and then on um, Twitter as well. And I really, really wanted to do mermaid, but I was just like so busy with everything um, that basically I'm just late <laughs> on this. Um, I actually sketched the concept uh, like a week ago and I was about to do the video for the, like for last week's video, but it just took a lot more time than expected. So I ended up doing something else. And then uh, for this week's video, I actually was planning on doing another mermaid as like a digital artwork, but the concept took a lot more time than expected as well. And I ended up being like, okay, I kind of need to still color this mermaid that, I, that you're watching right now. But um, it was also kind of like last minute and I traced and did my color scheme and the coloring everything in one day and in one sitting. Basically just spent like the last six hours coloring this and my hand is dead and it's not even like completely done as I'm recording the process. I probably have an hour left to just like do the little touch up and like finishing touches and like a couple things but it's, it's pretty like it's 99% done you know there's a couple things that I want to add on but uh, yeah I don't have a lot to say like so what I'm saying is that um, I just saw the tag and I was like let me just like draw mermaid and I wanted to draw something to draw something kind of like a little bit um, I guess not as cutesy and like uh, I just had a bit more edge to it and a, a woman that just try a different type of face and just have more expression to the character because sometimes I feel like my character I mean it's, it's kind of frustrating for me because emotions and feelings and like transmitting like emotions in a drawing is something that I like the most when I feel something and I always feel like my characters kind of like look plain and they have the same like boring face in a way that I I tend to just go for a very like still face and I want to try to experiment a bit more with that and just like trying to make me maybe just make someone that was not like hangry you know like but the face to me was like hey I'm I'm badass kind of type of face but I'm still cute and like pretty you know and like I am a colorful mermaid but you know what I mean like I wanted just to have it just try to experiment a bit more and it was supposed to be dark fantasy but of course you know me so well like of course this is rainbow art and I just I was hesitant between like okay this is a dark type of mermaid like a dark theme whatever it's not as like cutesy type of bubbly type of mermaid like I mean like her face and uh, pose is a little bit more edgy and so I was like what I can do is just go for the mermaid colors and like just put a bunch of blues and maybe like dark grays dark blues and just go really for it like maybe an icy mermaid which I want to do now anyway I was thinking about that or I was also thinking about doing the opposite of that which is to have someone that likes look a little bit more like not mean, but she looks a little bit more dark and like she has a very strong, I guess, um, what is it called, uh, expression and doing like very bright and, and colorful color scheme type of thing. And so I was like, you know what, like all mermaids have blonde hair or whatever. I don't want to choose to like, like contrast and do very bright colors and and yeah, you wouldn't expect like, I don't know, I wanted to do, <laughs> it's hard to explain, my ID was to have a color contrast. So if I'm working with my blues and like some turquoise color, I wanted to have the opposite of that in my drawing. What I usually do when I work with turquoise and teal, I go for my pinks because pinks and turquoise, they really, really work together. But for this specific piece, I forced myself into doing something different, which was to try to associate 
the turquoise with something that I really don't do as often which was to work more with reds and oranges and browns so that's kind of like the look that I was going for there is still a hint of pink because I've used some coral and reds but um, it's probably just like uh, a color like um, depends on the color gradation or like the video itself or the scan of my artwork but on the drawing itself it actually is more coral pink than um, an actual like a purpley pink or like my go-to pink what I usually do and so yeah I really really like the fact that I was able to mix um, like blues greens and then some browns and oranges because I feel like it gives a little bit more of an underwater feeling and I also try to have her light source coming from top but also from the front and it's, it's really hard for me and I <laughs> you know like uh, I, I guess I like to challenge myself even though I don't have time for it it's hey let's let's do a mermaid with like tons of colors and underwater light source and everything <laughs> just so I can like um, get crazy with like how I'm gonna shade everything and think about different light source and think about what colors how colors look like when you have a blue filter, you know, that type of thing, which I kind of, I couldn't really do, um, which is something I could do on computer, for example, but when I work with Copic markers, if I have my color scheme, uh, what I can do is just try to match as close as I can the idea that I have, but I can't just like put a random filter and let's 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 say that I want to have an underwater feeling with Copic markers. If I don't pick the color first, knowing that I have a blue undertone to everything. I don't have a lot of options. I can maybe try to put blue all over everything, like over everything, but it will look kind of muddy in some parts. It's a little bit tricky to do that. I wish there was a lot more like um, grayish tones with Copic markers. I feel like there's a lot of bright colors and there's a few neutrals and there's definitely some blues that are a little bit more like grayish blues, but I don't have a, like a, a bluish skin tone. Well, I can't, I can't, I try my best to do that, you know, I, I try to add a bluish tone to everything, except for the hair that I really wanted to pop, but uh, yeah, that was my ID. Um, as for the concept, like I said, nothing really fancy. Uh, what I wanted to is find a way to have a portrait of a mermaid, and you still know it's a mermaid, but I didn't want to have a full view with the tail and everything because that was really, really too big to do, and I really wanted to do a portrait, so I just I just played around it so I can have the tail like popping somewhere so you know it's a mermaid but it's still like uh, a portrait type of artwork and I like the oval shape I tried to do a like a square a, a round or a actual like unframed like just the, the paper itself and it didn't really look right uh, I just I just liked it in a in this oval shape type of I guess um, what is it called um, like a, a, a medal or something. I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's really late and I don't know how to speak English when it's late. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it to be honest. I don't have a lot to say. Um, if you're interested about colors, okay, uh, what can I say about the colors? So if you want to do what I did, which is a very iridescent type of like green to blue to purple color, I've used uh, YG00, then I jumped to like greens, like a G02, and then BG34, then I think I've used some, um, what is the blue that I used, B93, and then V05, a tiny bit of B66, just a bunch of like, it's a gradient effect, so I try to connect the, the colors together, so I, if I start, any colors, if you start with a green, try to connect with like, um, like a yellow green you connect with a green that's why i like copic markers it's pretty simple if you start with any color just try to jump from panel from a family to another family so if you have a green you can just do a blue green then to a uh, blue then a blue violet then a you know you can just like go from that to any color and if you really understand how color family works with which is what I did for like mixing my uh, gender hair with like those blue teal hands so she has like a tie-dye effect the only way for me to mix those if you don't know exactly how and like what colors you have to pick try to overlap the two on like a piece of paper and when I did that with a with my uh, my ginger type of color and then my blue I had like a olive green so that's actually what I used to connect 
my tie-dye effects you know I used actual olive green and that's how I blend everything and that's what you do with pretty much everything if you work with Copic markers every color like literally every color can be blended with another color you just have to find a link and it depends on the color the hue the saturation of course but most of the like usually usually you can blend them you may want to have one link to two links so if the colors are very very different like a yellow green like my bright green with my uh, with a deep purple I will have to find maybe two colors in between but it still can work and that's the beauty of Copic markers and that's what I love to do with this piece is being able to mix greens with purples with coral with blues and everything it was it was a blast and I truly believe that Copics are wonderful to be honest and I also think that's kind of like my best artwork so far and I'm really really happy with that and I really like the design and everything and um, I really want to work more towards like um, trying to replicate this look with paints. I really want to work with oil paints in the future and I also want to work more, I mean not darker characters but just people who have a bit more expression and a bit more style and I also try something different with this piece is to not go too dark all the time. I wanted to have contrast but I feel like I wanted to have a little bit more simplicity in the coloring style and just a tiny bit more like it's okay if you see contours or if it's okay if um, it's not like super super realistic, shady, everything. You know, I want to try something like that and I want to try to do something more more simple in terms of coloring. I still need to work on that. I feel like I'm overworking all the time but in the end it still looks nice so I'm like I'm biased. I'm like yeah should I do simple or should I keep on doing that but uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it for the for the video um, I talked about everything I wanted to so as always the actual artwork is available on my Etsy store there is the original and the prints at different sizes and different paper so if you're interested you can just click on um, like the print link or the original link and I think that will be it so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next week Bye-bye.